Howdy. The Fritz423 here. If you've hung around this channel more than a minute, you know we bail a lot of hay. And usually everything goes smooth. But if you're having a bad day and the bearings on one of these rollers on this baler decides to go out, things could get mighty interesting mighty quick. Like back in 2015 when uh, I had one of the bearings go out on the same baler. Kept smelling smoke and finally I looked around and <laughs> there's flames falling out of the bottom. So when we bought this used baler we got an infrared thermometer and here we're going around checking the temperature of the bearings on each of the rollers. You know, somewhere around the ambient temperature, maybe 10, 20 degrees above it is okay. But you can see here, it's 127, I think it got up to 133. And another one got close to 200 degrees and we had to shut her down. So we got two bad bearings, we got to replace them. First we need to remove the top rear roller. So you can see I tied up all the belts with baling twine. You probably should use something a little stouter. Yeah. Pull it all the way out. Come Just hold on to this way, I ought to be able to slide it now. Okay. Take a note. No, it's not. Alright, perfect. Is it too heavy to carry, you think? Here, let's look at the let's get a picture of that end. Oh my goodness. And your mere mortals may not be able to lift you. <laughs> That may explain why it was getting hot. Something fell out. That was a ball bearing. <laughs> the rest of a ball bearing. Mm -hmm. Just lift that end up. Stop! Have a time! Progress at all. Oh, yeah. Lit. We're going to try an old trick to keep this bearing from spinning inside this roller. It's called peening. What we ought to do is go out and buy a new roller, but they're expensive. We're going to try to make this work. I've had it work in the past. Every time you hit that sharp punch into the metal, it doesn't just leave a hole. It also pushes up metal, and hopefully that'll be enough to keep this bearing tight within the roller. Uh 
many people scream, don't put that stuff on there, I can't believe you did that. I have a headache without any of I think... Push. Alright, go get the other one, other side. Got it. And try to feed it through. Yep. Good. Oop. Good thing. Jebedezer. Hey. Are you wet? I'm wet. A little cold. A little miserable. And it's July in Texas. Can you believe it? Ninety-seven foot pounds, hundred and thirty newton meters. That went a lot smoother than yesterday. We got our shit together. We took it out like men. We put it back in like men. And now we're soaking wet. Well, we're not. We're not. We're not soaked like we were yesterday. Uh, no. Yesterday, yesterday it was down to the underwear. Oh uh, yeah. It was miserable out loud. We survived, we got it done. And that was the, uh, we replaced the rear upper, rear, rear upper, upper roller, rear lower gate rollers. Today, uh, today we did the rear lower. Yep, the, uh, the bearing on the upper right was gone. There was no bearing. That was the bearing, gone. Show them the other one to compare it. See, this is what it's supposed to look like. You had it in your hand just now. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what it's supposed to look like. And that's what it's supposed to look like. That's what we found. And some marbles rolling around inside the tube. Rusty marbles. Hey, people our age remember Steelies. They were Steelies, yeah. Nobody plays marbles anymore, apparently. We'll, we'll play the, video games. We'll put the, the Steelies on eBay. Five dollars each. So that's what we did. I don't know what that's a bearing is. Uh, I think it's in the cart. Anyways, sign off for now, Mr. Jebedezer. All right.